In the times of smart cities, I propose to turn our gaze towards not so smart cities. And just for some minutes, we'll check some examples of placemaking in Venezuela. But first, some context. Venezuela is located in the north of South America. The oil reserves in Venezuela are recognized as the largest in the world. Because of the oil boom, in the 1950s, Venezuela was a laboratory of modernity, becoming an example of both good and bad urban practices. The next images aim to show the audience how Venezuelan cities look nowadays. Venezuelan urban models mingle with nature. They also kind of look like the retro future of the Jetsons. Top-down state projects take place in Venezuela, but also informal bottom-up constructions can be found. Or, like Torre de la Vida, which is actually a vertical slum placed in an unfinished building. Even if the barrios start as an informal settlement in a spontaneous way, they eventually become an organized community. More than half the population in Venezuela live in barrios. Eventually, the state provides some services. But what about public spaces? What about human encounters? What about community bonding and sense of belonging? The following projects are examples of placemaking, where architecture becomes a catalyst for human interactions. Theodore Roosevelt said, do what you can with what you have where you are. And so they did. Different disciplines came together changing the protocols of placemaking and reordering the physical and social conditions of the Venezuelan barrios. For each of these projects, architects and community came together understanding which types of activities and spaces were needed. To show each of these projects in the presentation, the architects will be interviewed to answer the following questions. What initiated the project? What did the community want? How was the collaboration between the different parties? What was the main challenge? What was the biggest satisfaction? Venezuelan cities are a laboratory of low-cost projects which generate high-quality spaces and interactions. Winston Churchill said, A pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Venezuelan slum upgrades do not respond to the conventional canons of beauty, but space makers respond to the canons of urbanization where public spaces are important centers of community. If Shakespeare had to describe this Pechacucha, maybe this would be what he would have said. Oh heavy lightness, serious vanity, misshapen chaos of well-seeming forms, feather of lead, bright smoke, cold fire, sick health. 